homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent is known as solution. Solution having two types or solution having two components. The one is solute and the another is solvent. Solvent is that compound or that liquid basically it is in the form of liquid which dissolves the solute while solute is that substance which is dissolving in the solvent. Now there is a lot of solute, solvent is present. For example water, benzene, alcohol, ether etc. These all are solvent. But we are not saying that benzene, we are not saying that alcohol or ether is a universal solvent. But we are saying that water is a universal solvent. Universal solvent means that uh, major types of uh, component also and compound also a lot of compounds is dissolving in water. That's why uh, it is known as universal solvent. Today you will know about that how we call water is a universal solvent. There are two reasons. Uh, the two property present inside of the water uh, and that two property is polarity and dielectric constant. Due to these two reasons we say that water is universal constant. The first is polarity. Uh, polarity basically going to toward the polarity let's know about the structure of water. The formula for water is H2O. Here you can see that one oxygen and two hydrogen is present. Let me make the, this will be having, this is basically the hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen and that is called um, water. Now here the electronegativity of oxygen is higher than hydrogen. Electronegativity is basically the property of that element which attracts the shear pair of electron. Shear pair electron basically uh, between the hydrogen and oxygen there is a covalent bond and covalent bond we call that here basically shearing occur. Shear pair of electron is basically occur here. Now here we know that hydrogen having only one electron in their valence shell and the oxygen having two electron in their valence shell. That's why oxygen is bonding with two hydrogen. One hydrogen for one electron and another hydrogen is for another electron. Now, if shear pair occur here, if here shear occur between the electron because here a covalent bond is present, what will happen? The electron will move. If we having this electron for one, this is the for one. This electron will move toward the oxygen because we explained before that it is more electronegative than H, which is hydrogen. The video of oxygen is 3.44 while uh, the video for hydrogen is only 2.4 or 2.3 something. So basically it is lower than oxygen. That's why the shear pair electron moves toward the uh, oxygen and here a partial, a partial negative charge is ion is formed, uh, charge is present on oxygen. While here partial positive and also, also partial positive. Now partial means a semi basically. Now here, how here, why not complete negative or complete positive charge is formed? Because if you compare both the electronegativity, so here the electronegativity is 3.4 and 2.4 for something. So here the electronegative difference is not much, is not higher. That's why the complete transfer is not occurring also and also the complete positive or negative charge is not occurring. Partial, partial, therefore here only the partial charge is, is occurring. Now you can see here that here the negative charge appear on oxygen side while on the side of hydrogen you can see here that here basically uh, here it, uh, hydrogen positive charge appears and here negative charge appear on oxygen. Now basically this is called polarity. We say that pole means that here are two poles present. Now one is positive and one is negative. Two poles are present on the sides, basis of east and west basically. So here two fold is present. The one is negative and the other is positive. That is why this property is present inside of the water. Now you, if you through something or if you uh, sink something, uh, some compound, if you take here the example of NaCl, table salt basically, this is the compound and we know that here uh, the 
charge and Na is positive while the charge and Cl is negative. Now what will happen if you throw this compound into the water, what will happen? Here water will show their dielectric constant, uh, the dielectric constant property. And dielectric constant property is their property of solvent of the substance which dissolve, which distribute, which uh, basically, which remove, which dissolve the ions into two components. You can see here that here we having only one in is present and C is present and the positive and the negative charge is here. You will see that how dielectric constant is divided, how dielectric constant uh, the property is working here. The dielectric constant will divide these into Na positive and Cl negative. You can see here and it is distributed due to dielectric constant. Because the, this property is much higher than other uh, solvent. The value for dielectric constant is 78 0.4 and also it is greater from other solvents. So if first what will happen it will divide the whole compound into two which is two ions and then what will happen the polarity will start their action. Now you can see here that hydrogen is positive charge while oxygen is negative. What will happen this Na which is positive charge will attract toward the hydrogen while this Cl will attract uh, sorry, this Cl will attract toward uh, the hydro hydrogen which is negative charge and this Na will attract toward the negative charge which is basically oxygen. So here uh, mixed, the, the NaCl, the table salt will mix inside of the water and it will look like, like that here oxygen, hydrogen, what will happen? The here positive charge is present and negative charge is present and oxygen. Here uh, Na will comes toward here which is positive charge and toward the Cl, uh, toward the H here Cl negative will come. You can see here. So basically these two properties are present inside of the water and due to these two properties it is known as uh, universal solvent and other uh, substances is also if you take example of sugar. So sugar basically consists of OH group basically. This is the OH group which is present inside the sugar and other portion of the group is also in other uh, here you can see this this is the bond which is present uh, the, sh the sugar is making with other uh, compound also this OH present which contain negative charge here and we know that if negative charge is present so here uh, before the compound we also hear the positive charge which is present if you do if we think this sugar in water this OH will come toward uh, the hydrogen in other compound will come toward the um, oxygen. So this was all about that why we call water as a universal solvent. Thanks for watching.